my uncle Abraham Brews was the first boot maker in Raymondville, Texas. He started in 1925. He put me to work and uh, when I know exactly what to do to make a pair of boots, he put me on the front of the business. When uh, Rios closed down, I opened my own business, Armando's Boot Company in, in Raymondville in 1982. When I started Armando's Boots, well, my wife is the number one helper to me. She makes all the designs. She uses the single needle machine, and uh, she worked very, very hard with me. So it's just a matter of getting everything centered up? My son, when he's littered, I put him to work the leather too. I remember playing in the boot shop since I was about five. My dad would have somebody cut out the tops and I would glue everything and put the piping on and stuff. So I've been making boots just about all my life. The original cowboy boot and the boot that we make today are very different. Back in the day when cowboys or vaqueros, when they were purchasing their boots, it was kind of like they were purchasing a tool for their trade. The boots were very sharp pointy. The toe was extremely sharp, and that was, of course, so they could slide in that stirrup on that saddle really quick. Their heels were high undershot, two, two and a half inch riding heels. Cowboy boots started with the vaqueros, with the ranches and all that, but uh, on the present time, you know, it's uh, doctors, lawyers, every, everybody would use the cowboy boots. The working vaquero cowboy boot was just a plain calfskin boot. But even back then, I mean, they, cowboys usually had two pair of boots. They had a pair to work in, and then they had a pair that they went out on the town in, and those would get about as fancy as you could name it. I mean, the fancier the, the leather work, <clears throat> the more inlay, the more rosettes you could put on them. Cowboys have always made a statement on their boots. To me, the future of this uh, company is going to be my son. This boot is going to Houston. This boot and this boot are going to Fort Worth. This boot's going to Austin. This boot is going to Corpus Christi. This pair of boots actually going to New York City. We don't have a web page or anything. Every, you know, a lot of our stuff is just by word of mouth. And we are still, you know, nine months behind on boot orders. And uh, our customers are patient enough that, you know, they, 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 they don't mind waiting. I don't know anybody that loves to make boots as much as my dad. This is what he knows, but this is also what he loves to do. He's at home in the back of the shop making boots. I love to deal with the customers and, uh, and make the boots, you know, because I handle the leather, handle the tools, everything. I love it. I love to make boots, you know. <laughs>